but eventually it's 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 gonna go the hair there is gonna go lord stress <laughs> pure stress pure stress in my life welcome and welcome back to my channel where I break down the fundamentals of my hair care guys I'm gonna relax it tomorrow Whew. the joy the joy I feel in my heart to say that it's been an arduous three months and I am eager to get my relaxer my hair is not in a bad state but definitely my roots are crying out for that creamy c word you know i really need that relaxer so i'm really excited but as usual what i normally do i come to you and i share with you just what's going on with my hair prior to going to the hairdresser right so right now as i said i'm about 11 to 12 weeks post relaxer i think i was supposed to get my relaxer on monday but i just stretched it a little longer for the weekend my hair feels okay i'm not gonna lie this is like the first time in a long time that i'm going into a relaxer and my hair does not feel dry i've been trying very hard to take care of my new growth so i've been moisturizing it very regularly i'm gonna show you the product that i've been using and my new growth has really been enjoying um this this particular product it has worked so well in terms of moisturizing and keeping my new growth soft so that's definitely something that i'm going to continue keeping in my regimen now a major change in what's gonna happen tomorrow well you would have heard about my horror story last relaxer with my hair and my head just burning well really my head my head just burning because of the relaxer that i used i used a lie relaxer the ORS lie relaxer to be specific and that just was not the right relaxer for my scalp my scalp is extremely sensitive so this time around I thought about should I go back to the no lie ORS relaxer or should I just try something completely different and that question was predicated on the fact that yes one I had my burns but two there's this section at the back of my head that was extremely under processed and I'm not sure why guys because my hairdresser she leaves on my relaxer for a little while longer so it's either that the relaxer that I'm using is just not taken to um, that section of my hair properly so I decided to just switch it didn't even make sense to go for a stronger relaxer just for that section of my hair either so long story short I am trying out a new relaxer yes girl I went relaxer hunting today I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be using tomorrow. Of course, I couldn't wait. I had to open it up because I want to know how I want to know how the relaxer system works before I go to my hairstylist. She's also Spanish speaking, so yeah, I need to know exactly what I'm going to be using or what she's going to be using in my hair and the steps that she's going to to take. So as you can see, there are about six six different steps, and I'm quite excited for step number three. Step number three seems to be like a pre-neutralizing treatment. Treatment, and that's quite new I don't normally see that or I didn't see that in my ORS um, no lie kit so I'm really excited to see how this really makes my hair feel it's supposed to be like a strengthening type of treatment which is good because as we know protein is broken down typically on relaxer day because of the chemicals in the relaxer so I'm really happy to use this and I really hope that it has somewhat of an impact on my hair so I'm excited to try this guys but yeah I just wanted to come that you know that change and yeah, if anything, I'll see you at the salon. Hey guys, it's relaxed today. It's relaxed morning. And last night, my head was itching. My scalp was just on fire with the itch because my scalp knows it's time to get washed. <laughs> so, you know, I was trying my hardest not to use my nails or just using the palms of my hands. But of course, the itch was concentrated at the back of my hair. And that is a sensitive part, the most sensitive part of my scalp. So, you know, if I get like a burn or two, I, I wouldn't be mm, over the moon. Or, or, or so overly shocked because behind it was really itchy last night. I also watched a video guys of a review of someone utilizing the dark and lovely relaxer and they didn't like it. 
<laughs> they didn't like it they said it left their hair dry but that's common right that's common for a lot of no lie relaxers so I'm not gonna let that deter me from from using it at all I'm still gonna go and share my experience with you but I just wanted to come to you show you what my hair is looking like girl before we actually head up to the salon so let's get into that so this is my hair guys as I said, it's three months post relaxer. I had it in like a twist out for the week. I just kept it bunned up. Um, so yeah, this is what it's looking like. My ends, I don't think they're terrible, but of course I'm gonna get a little trim because I don't want those split ends to continue going up the, the, the strand. So this is the before. Guys, let me just say like, I'm so scared. I'm so scared because this is my first time doing like a corrective relaxer. And I say corrective because remember I told you that at the side here I have quite a bit of under processed hair so it's probably like an inch and a half of under processed hair so I'm going to have her bring the relaxer down a little bit and that is so frightening for me because I just don't want to weaken my already fragile strands anymore um, so I'm really nervous about that I really hope it goes well I hope that I come out and I'm like yeah my hair looks good like my last relaxer experience you know I don't want that I don't want to leave this salon feeling sad and just you know feeling down and under the weather so I'm really hoping that 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 goes well but I think I'm gonna record it so that you see so let's hope for the best I'm going in on a positive note because my hair is in a fairly decent state so I'm hoping that when I do get out um, that I feel I feel the same or even more elated you know I think I'm gonna see you at the salon in the next clip I think Santa. Yeah, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. so let's talk about the relaxer experience let's talk about my thoughts on the relaxer let's just talk about how the relaxer day went in general so of course as you saw I utilized the dark and lovely relaxer kit and my initial thoughts on it I got no burns <laughs> I got no burns and because of that I love it I've received burns from my ORS relaxer kit but this one it sat on my hair for a while guys and I felt nothing a line a line a line what I felt was a little bit of tingling around this part of my hair that was really itchy but after a few seconds the tingles just went it, it, it was it was weird because normally the tingles don't disappear the tingles lead to burns but I didn't receive any burns it was so gentle on my scalp and I think because of that I'm going to stick with the relaxer it also left my hair feeling a little dry and I don't think that that's different to how the ORS left my hair feeling either um, it's something to do with I suppose um, no lie relaxers as they say no lie relaxers tend to be harsher on the hair strands but gentler on the scalp and for me my scalp is important I think I can always remove any extra calcium buildup from my hair and infuse moisture back into it but when my scalp is damaged it takes a while to heal it definitely does so because of that I'm going to stick with my dark and lovely girl that's me now that is me Oris I'm so sorry you did me well but I'm done with you <laughs> so let's also talk about that area at the back of my head that was under process so that part of it guys she did bring down the relaxer to that area I think she did I highlighted it to her but even now when I'm feeling the texture of my hair it is still there that area is still under processed 
and I think I've just come to terms with it because I'm not going to apply relaxer down length of my hair again so I'm just gonna have to come to terms that that part of my hair is essentially or eventually going to break and yeah what else can I do I'm not gonna keep applying relaxer to it it's just gonna you know break down my strands even further and I'm running from weakening my hair so it's there I'm gonna treat it with caution I'm gonna treat it with care but eventually it's 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 gonna go the hair there is gonna go lord stress <laughs> pure stress pure stress in my life but <laughs> yes apart from that guys um the relaxer experience was good now let's talk about the length of my hair um my hair definitely grew it got longer and i know that's what you're waiting for but i'm gonna keep you waiting it got longer but i didn't like the ends she did trim off a bit of my ends and when i got home i just you know i wasn't satisfied so i went in i asked my mom to help as well and i trimmed off a little bit more so i I think I'm pretty much back to where I started or maybe just a tad bit longer but you're not gonna see the full extent of it because my hair is right now curled up but I just wanted to show you how my hair looks so yeah what you've been waiting for I'm actually heading out to the office so of course however my hair looks that's how I'm aware it now you guys know I love curly hair and I love using flexi rods to achieve my curls curly hair gives me more volume curly hair gives me more bounce and that is what I am after I absolutely love it absolutely love it so yeah this is my very first relaxer update of 2022 guys fingers crossed that it continues to go better and better and better as we go through the year but of course I'm all about sharing with you my journey so you will definitely be kept up to date on any changes all right so yes thank you so much for watching today's video of course if you haven't yet already hit the subscribe button girl hit the like button share this video with a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend to stop over on Dina J's channel where I try to upload videos almost every single Sunday. So until next week Sunday guys, bye. It's the body for me girl. It is the body for me. That's what I'm liking. That is what I'm liking. Who will tell me anything today? When I step into the office and my hair is like...